Stephanie Njeru from EDI and JDS. JDS, uh, Justice, Dignity and Solidarity. What does EDI mean for those of us who don't know? EDI is short for Equality, Diversity and Inclusion. So what's the difference? <laughs> the the um, EDI underpins everything in JDS. So EDI is talking about disability, racism, um, sexuality um, and yeah, everything like that, uh, um, gender things as well. Um, so that underpins the work of the JDS, which is Justice, Dignity and Solidarity. The report is about um, strategic need for strategic change and change inside the individuals and local churches. It's about attitudes um, and, and the EDI work, the EDI modules that you'll find on the website uh, will help us in a conversational manner to, to start addressing that. One of the difficulties that I think a lot of congregations have, and I know I've, I've had it in my ministry, is although I, I like to think I'm as inclusive and I'm welcoming as I can possibly be, actually some of the rhetoric that I've heard is, and so are we, there's nothing wrong with us, there's nothing wrong with the way that we do things. What, what do we say to congregations and people who feel like, I, I don't see the problem, I'm, I'm nice, I'm welcoming, I'm inclusion, I don't see the problem, I don't, you can come if you want to. Um, I, I would say to that, we all have unconscious bias, simply because of who we are, where we've grown up, the friends that we make, the people that we talk to, and the, those that we ignore and don't talk to. And it's that that we want to work on. Um, you will naturally gravitate towards a certain group of people because they have the same lifestyle as you, the same attitudes as you. Um, you know, if you look through the newspaper or something, and something really gets you go, um, then you know that you've got a bias in one direction or the other. Um, and so it's just trying to get people to realise um, that that is within each and every one of us. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm just reflecting on what you said. I, I'm mixed race, you know, I grew up with very brown family. <laughs> but I went to Trinidad and Tobago for the Methodist Caribbean Central America's conference. And the, the day one when I arrived there, it was full of, full of black people happy days it was the Caribbean uh, and there was one white representative from the UMC guess who I sat next to it, it, it just it just did it yeah you're right unconscious bias is, is a thing even though like I'm I'm mixed race and I, I like to think I'm inclusive but you just don't realize you're doing it no so no, what's, no, what's the message for people <laughs> <laughs> the message is to to the first step is to say yeah actually because of who I am there are people that um, I would prefer not to talk to or engage with. Um, and that is the, the basis, that is the main thing. Once you recognize that, um, then we can have conversation. So the main thing is learning through conversation with each other. So if there's somebody in church or, or wherever in your life that, that you would rather not have the conversation with, then try really hard to find out more about them um, and in that way, we're going to start breaking down the barriers of prejudice and ignorance. Um, and that is where we will all carry an unconscious bias or conscious bias. Um, that's just a human frailty. Um, but the more we can do to learn about other people, to learn their stories of hardship or of joy, um, and then that's where our hearts start changing and that's where we can learn to accept others who are different to us. We've talked a lot this morning, um, this week about um, living with diversity and living uh, with others that we don't, don't necessarily agree with. But we don't have to do this by ourselves, do we? The Methodist Church recognises that this is an issue, this is a problem, yep. and there is training available for people who do want to engage in this. Where, where, does, where do you find this training from? Absolutely. Um, you can contact um, anybody who is named on the JDS report or um, if you see uh, any names under EDI, we'll be more than willing to. Yeah, Marjorie in the pew, she ain't going to know. She ain't going to have a conference agenda, is she? She isn't. No, no, no. <laughs> absolutely. She is not going to know Marjorie in the pew. Um, then please talk to your minister or your circuit superintendent. The superintendents at least should be aware that this is available. Yeah, um, and we, we know where to find it, Marjorie, don't worry. We've we got you back. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Stephanie, thank you so much for your time and thank you for all the work that you do with EGI and JDS and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.